So we got we're going to start our uh, NFL training camp series. I don't, well, not really training camp, just NFL preview series, I guess you could call it. Yeah. So we're going to do the AFC East today. Let's get to the Jets. Do we think the Jets are at least better? They made some additions. They really, I mean, people are really praising their draft. People are really high on the draft class that they just had. They had, they basically had four first round picks. They, they should be I mean, better. I, I would should say they're be better. better. I would they say they're be better. better. Like, it, but the reason why they're better is because they were so bad to begin with. Like, it yeah, can't it was, be it was worse, impossible like, to say, get worse. Yeah. Like that's with the that's amount of draft picks they had, it was impossible to get worse. Like that's that's why they're better. They're just they're better because there's no other fucking way to go. Like, like, <laughs> like I guess technically they could have stayed the same, but like if you're adding pieces, like that should even if it's like even if all but four of their you know all but one of their draft picks ends up being an utter fucking bum, like that one guy. That's the still most important thing better. for them. What? Their four picks, their four picks are the most important thing for the Jets. They got to hit on them because their overall roster is not good. Can Sauce Gardner be a number one corner? Can Jermaine Johnson be a 12 sack guy a year? Can Brees Hall be a starting running back in the league? Can Garrett Wilson be a true number one wide receiver? If they check all of those boxes, they're going to be way better. Like I said, I mean, like I said, yes, if they hit on everybody, of course they're going to be way better. But even if they, like I said, it doesn't really matter. Like, even if they get one of those guys are good. Like at the end of the day, that one guy makes you better because you were already so bad to begin with. Are you a Zach Wilson believer? Uh, yeah, I like Zach Wilson. I, I, I like that Zach Wilson likes older, mature women. I like, <laughs> I, I like everything I hear and see about Zach Wilson. But I mean, at the same time, like it, it sort of still feels like too little too late. You're on the fucking jets. So Get used to not maybe me maybe he makes one playoff appearance his entire career, unless he goes somewhere else after after he's done with the Jets. But who knows? I don't actually I don't know what to make of the Jets. Everything in my mind just tells me it's the Jets. They'll suck. Who cares? Why even bother? But I mean they they are improving. Like the things they're doing, it's not totally idiotic. Like they have some guys. I'll give them this. I feel like the Jets are officially better than the Giants. I think I agree with you. I think like, I agree I'll, with you. I'll, I'll I think them, I agree with you. I, I'll give them that. I'll give them that, but at the same time, it's that like. That means something. That means something. Yeah, but how much does it mean? It means, it means a lot. It doesn't mean a lot. It doesn't mean a lot. Like, like, you, like, oh, yeah, we're better than the, we're better than the other New York, New Jersey team. Cause let's be honest, they play in New Jersey. They're not the fucking New York Jets. They're the New Jersey Jets. Like, we're better than the other New York team, but the other New York team picked, what did they pick? Like, fifth overall? Like, so what? We'll get the sixth pick next year? Like, what does that do for you? <laughs> it's like, I think their biggest strength is probably defensively. Defensively, they actually have some good players. Quinn and Williams is actually really good. Like yes. If the Jets wanted to move off of him, I would trade for him in a heartbeat. C.J. Mosley is actually good. He's overpaid, but he's actually good. They have some guys defensively, and Robert Sala. Did is they respect- trade for C.J. Mosley, or did they sign him? No, they, they just him, right? they gave him this. They gave him a ridiculous contract in free agency. Okay, he's a good I, player. I, I know, like I just remember, like something went on with with Mosley in Baltimore, where like ba- yeah, Baltimore let him walk. That's what it was. They could have franchise tagged him, which is what I was mad about. Yeah, that's what it was. I I couldn't remember. Yeah. 100% what they what happened with that. But I, I was just – I don't know. Like and they said, actually I, have some running back depth. Like Michael Carter, if he's your backup running back, you can do some things with him. Yeah. I think I, what's like going to kill I him. I don't feel like the Jets like – I, 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 like it's hard because it's like – like I don't want to talk about the Jets because they're still not going to be good. Can I, I'll make one more point on the Jets. This is probably what's going to kill him. Their left tackle sucks. George Fant's horrible. He can't play. Like he, he's a converted tight end that's yet, that couldn't make Seattle's roster. If you're a converted tight end that can't make Seattle's roster, you shouldn't be in the league. He and couldn't make right Seattle's tackle. roster as a tight end, or couldn't make Seattle's no, roster as a as, a, as, the, as a as a tackle. Okay. He was a tight end. They tried to play him at tackle. <laughs> I, I, just, I just wanted to clarify because like those are two yeah. completely different scenarios. Like if he was like a tight end that couldn't make it, and then committed no. to a like a tackle, that if, would be even worse. If you're an offensive lineman and Seattle doesn't fucking want you, there's a problem. 
There's a big problem. Yeah, yeah. When <laughs> Seattle's like, this guy fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah. Like, can we? Yeah. I wish we could call Russell Wilson. Be like, hey, you remember this guy? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He can't play. And the right tackle, people are people don't know what to make of Mackay Becton. I don't think he's gonna make it. Like, he 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 really he's like almost too fat. Like, he's really slow. People get around him. He's overweight. I don't think he's gonna make it. If if both of your tackles can't play and it's the Jets, your season's done. But by, by the way, we when we kind of like earlier in the show when we talked about your pinched nerve or whatever, and we talked about like athletes, like the one thing that kind of pisses me off all the time when we talk about NFL linemen, people are like, "Oh, they're fat." Like they're not, dude. You got to be an athlete to be an offensive lineman, dude. He's like three hundred and eighty five fucking pounds. Well, I'm like, I'm not. I'm just saying, like. You have to be an athlete to be an offensive lineman, yeah. especially in the NFL. He is not an athlete. That's no, he point. is not. He's not. Like, <laughs> like if you look at other – like, we talked about, um, you know, Daryl Dawkins uh, with with uh, Buffalo. Yeah, like, Deion Dawkins. He, Deion Dawkins Deion, is a great athlete. Yeah, Deion Dawkins. Like, that's a big fella. I think his, his playing weight's close to, like, 325 or something like that. He's a big boy. We knew he was a good athlete at Temple. Yeah, but that's my point. He he's still an athlete, but he's his playing weight's like three fifteen, three twenty. Yeah, three sixty three. They're probably lying about oh, that. He's, too. he's even bigger. My bad. He's even bigger. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. So like, if, but, if his listed if his listed weight is three sixty three, he's probably showing probably up even camp, bigger than bigger that. Than that. Yeah, he can move. He can move. Like, and you see, like defensive tackles in the NFL too. Like those guys. Like you see, sometimes you'll see like one of them do like a backflip, and like but that that man is like. He's, Miles Garrett, the thing. I mean, he's all muscle, but he's this. This is the problem with Makai Becton, though. We, everyone talks about, oh, Joe Douglas. He knows what he's doing. He's this great general manager. He took Makai Becton over Tristan Wirfs. I don't think he really does know what he's doing. Yeah, I mean, look, you, you got to take. I, sometimes you just got to take the Howie Roseman approach. Like, if you have enough picks, one of them's going to be good. <laughs> like that's like <laughs> if you have enough, if you pass if you pass on Tristan Wirfs for Makai Becton, you don't really know what you're doing. If I well, I mean, fuck. I and again, I mean, we we're gonna talk about the Eagles when we talk about the Eagles, but like Howie Roseman, like people are praising his draft this year, but he's he's known for making questionable decisions. Well, they're praising his draft, but at the same time, he could have just taken AJ Brown in that draft instead of Barcega Whiteside. So, like, like I like I said. Like, <laughs> Like I, I feel like this general manager thing, like it's 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 hit or miss. It's come and go. Yeah. Like, like sometimes you just have to have twelve picks. You know, what are the odds that out of twelve picks, everyone's gonna suck? Like one of them's got to be good. Like that's my point. Well, we knew we knew about the Arcega Whiteside thing when he was coming out of the draft. We were screaming that from the clouds that he couldn't play. I almost cried I when they drafted that man. Like it was, <laughs> it was rough. Yeah. And, and, the, like, again, the worst part is, is like, you, you mentioned A.J. Brown. You know, obviously the big one, D.K. Metcalf, was still on the board at that point. Yeah. point. It's like – but my, my and like I said, like, I don't know. Like, I don't I don't want to say, like, oh, he made one bad pick. He can't be a GM. I mean, there's levels to this GM shit. Like, yes, maybe he made a bad pick. But, like, next year, like oh, you said, don't get if me all wrong, four I mean... of those first rounders, if all four of those first rounders, if they all hit, we're going to have the same conversation. We're like, yeah, fuck it, he – he took Makai Becton, but, you know, like, look at the guys he fucking took last year. They're in this spot with a decent young core because he was smart enough to trade Jamal Adams. Well, I'm not saying he's a total idiot, but he, he has yeah, some what, clear misses. What, is, what has Jamal Adams done recently? Like, I, I yeah. feel like he – I think I have – That was a great trade for them. Great trade for them. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure over the last two years, I had the same amount of picks in the NFL as, you know, Jamal Adams does. So, like, <laughs> great. Like, way to go. Like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Mark, can you look that up? How many picks does Jamal Adams have last year and the year before? Like, he pr- I think I do remember him getting one. But, I mean, his oh, okay. career interception. Okay, so he has, he's got one more pick than I do. That doesn't help his case. <laughs> In terms of the division standings, I would definitely go Buffalo, clear gap, Miami, another gap, New England. And I think the Jets are closer to New England than you think they are. No, I don't think so. I, 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 don't I think, think they are. See, I, I have it a little bit different. I think it's Buffalo, like a thousand feet of crap. New England and Miami, sort of similar. Yeah, four total picks. Yeah, four total. And picks. then, and then, like another thousand feet of crap, and then the Jets, and then a thousand feet of crap, and then the Giants. So, like, 
Well, I, I would hope he has zero picks in 2029. <laughs> <laughs> but they got two first round picks and more for him though. So that was a great move by the They should have got like a fifth round pick at the most. Probably. Well, no, you know what? That's not fair. I maybe a third rounder because he does a lot in the run game and he does make he a does lot of he does so yeah. I would say so. maybe a third rounder, but like two first rounders, uh, I don't know about that. Anything else in AFC? So I think we covered it. I, I would just say it's that, tough. you know, talking about Jamal Adams, like you you could tell they've clearly gotten better because Jamal Adams was like the best player on their team when he was with the Jets. Oh, yeah. Like, like at least They're now, moving in the right direction. At least now, like, if you were to put Jamal Adams back on the Jets, he might be, like, the fourth best player. So, like, they're, get, they're, they're getting better, but it, like, it and really doesn't And they needed to move much. him to, in order to get some of these young guys that they have. That, I mean, well, no, I'm just saying, like, if you just, like, went into, like, Madden roster creator and just picked them up and dropped <laughs> them back on this current oh, team. Oh, don't worry. We have a we have a Jets franchise on the YouTube channel. People can go look it up. When I did the series with the Jets, they're horrible. But go look at the roster. It's as bad as it gets. Yes. But that's it was my impossible point. Like, to win games with that's them. that's my <laughs> point. Like you can tell there's a progression. You can tell yeah. they've gotten better because Jamal Adams, like when he was with the Jets, was their best player. Now he's only like their fourth best player. Like if he were to suddenly magically just appear on the Jets roster, like with no other changes, he'd be like their fourth best player. So yes, they've gotten better. But, like, I mean, like, again, if you're at a zero and you add four, you're still only at four. Like, you're, like that, like that's not that much better. They got a ways to go, but improving. Mark, so, you got anything? Any notes? Anything on your mind? Anything on the AFCs? Um, I just – I think that if you look at, like, the Jets, they have the pieces to be good. Uh, and the same thing with the Dolphins. They have the pieces to be good, but we're just going to have to wait and see if everything pans out like like it should. I think that... I don't know if I would, I don't know if I would lump the Dolphins in with the Jets at this point. Like, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't even say the Jets have the pieces to be good yet. I would say, like, they have the pieces to almost being good. Like, they have the pieces I mean, I th- to almost... They have the pieces to almost be average. Like, I feel I like think... Miami could possibly, like, I'm not saying they will be, but I feel like Miami will be in the hunt for a playoff spot next year. Like, I don't think the Jets are anywhere near that yet. I don't think you're giving the Jets, I'm not saying the Jets are going to make the playoffs, but, I mean, they got Wilson, Brees Hall, who I think is going to be a beast. They have Elijah Moore, and then they got CJ Uzma, who's uh, a pretty good tight end. So, I think they do have some pieces to where, they have something. Like said, yeah, they got something right, to work I'm not with, saying and that they don't they've have definitely improved. I'm not saying they don't have any pieces. I'm just saying I feel like I wouldn't lump Miami with Miami in with the Jets. I feel like Miami, they have a legitimate shot at being a playoff team. Honestly, I feel like the Jets, if they're not maybe not going to be a top five team, but I feel like they're still picking in the top ten next year. I would pick the Jets to finish last, but I think they're closer to New England than you think they are. If, if Okay, again, I, I mean, again, I don't agree, but the Jets. In fact, I actually think they have a better roster than New England. But they won't finish if, higher. If than we them. if we could fast forward the season and just sim right to the NFL draft, what pick would you give the Jets right now? I'm saying top Ooh, ten, maybe. This eight. is a great question. I like this question. I, I'm putting the Jets back in Hold the top on. ten. They're picking number Hold eight, on. maybe seven. If you ask me. Hold on. See, the AFC is tough, so it makes it like the AFC West is low. Like the AFC is really hard. If they were in the NFC, I'd, get, I'd I'd feel better about it. If they were in the NFC, I'd still say they're picking top 10. Maybe 11. I'll give them 11 in the <sighs> NFC. I'll give them 11 in the NFC, but they're still near the 10th pick. Yeah, because even if you win six games, you're still picking top 10, which would be an improvement for them. Yes, that's my point. They could win seven games and still pick in the top 10. Like, and, and I'm not saying that New England would be – I'm not saying New England would be a playoff team either, but I feel like they would at least be in the mix. What Denver? Denver? Denver won seven games. I think they had the ninth pick. I don't know. Off the top of my head, I have to look it up. Yeah, they'll probably still have another top ten pick. <laughs> That's my point. I think they're getting are you, better. Are you, you're saying New England's going to be in the top ten too? Mm-hmm. Probably not. That's my point. They'll pick, like, I don't they'll pick around where they did I, last honestly, year. Honestly, I, I do agree with you. I, I don't know if I would 100%. I, 
I, I would say, like, roster strength-wise, the Jets, not super far away from New England. They might have a better better roster than New England. But, I mean, it's Bill Belichick. Like, I'm, yeah. you know? So, like, New England maybe picks 15. The Jets, I'm going to give yeah. them the eighth pick. I feel like that's, that's, fair. that's a gap. That's, fair. that's a pretty sizable gap, if you ask that's me. That's fair. I, I'll, I'll give that to you. That's fair. 